Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to create a new directory. Let us say Java examples is my workspace. Under that, I have first test ng is one directory and training is another work uh, directory. So let me show you the path. So under e drive Java examples, training is my uh, directory. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder under this new directory let's say i wanted to create java tutorials in this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new class and then type it as create dir and then select public static void main and click on finish so now what i'm going to do is first i'll create a file object let's say file and then make it as file then new file so you can give the path later let's uh, close this and see you need to import the java io dot uh, java dot io class files just import that and then once that is done what you're going to do is you are going to make use of a method called file whatever the object you have created file dot make dir that means it is going to create the directory okay dir it will return true or false so what i'm going to do i'm going to assign it to a value boolean val is equal to file mkdir now let me verify using if condition if val is true then what i'm going to do is system out print ln statement the new dir is created means directory is created else we are going to write it as System out print ln statement. The directory is already exist. So now what I am going to do is I will run this program. And before that, I need to give the name. So let's say if I give, let us say you see, uh, Pavan is one directory name. And what I am going to do is. I'm going to give power name again. Let's see what it is going to throw. Okay. Now, if you run this program and see, it will say the directory is already exists. So that's the reason what I'm going to do is I'm going to write Java tutorials. Okay. So now if I run this program, what it is going to do is it will create that particular new directory so let's go and see whether that is created or not okay so this is how you will create a new directory in that particular path so now what i'm going to do is i wanted to create one more inside this particular java tutorial so let's say go here and then under this i'm writing as java so now what i'm going to do is click on run and then see what is going to happen the new dir is created see here you have java tutorials under that java is created this is how you will create using mir for example uh, using make dir method for example if direct this directory is not available then if you use this method to create your mkdir is not going to help you for example if i say uh, test so test folder is not there let's say go to this particular uh, training under that there is no test folder so when i try to create this particular uh, using mkdir see what is going to happen the di directory is already exists that means the it went to the false statement now because this directory is not available that's the reason uh, is not available that's the reason this mkdir method did not create the java directory so in order to do that what you have to do is you have to use if that uh, directory is not available 
you if you use mkdars method it will create that directory and then create the uh, directory whatever you have specified the parent directory if that is not there it will create that and then it will create the uh, sub directory as well so now run this program and see this is the difference between mkdir and mkdirs methods so see here test is created under that java is also created so did you hope you understand the difference between mkdir and mkdirs method so mkdirs method is used to create the parent also whereas mkdir will allow create uh, will allow you to create only the child but the parent must be created already this is the difference between mkdir and mkdirs